The Virgo's Curve is our first exotic stasis bow and it's just been added to Destiny 2 as part of Season of Defiance. So we've had Arc, Void and Solar exotic bows before but now we've got a stasis one which is going to go perfectly with our stasis builds. Well today I'm going to show off the Verglass Curve, show you how to get it, plus also we're going to talk about that catalyst too. Well if you're new around here or find this useful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below for all the latest Destiny 2 content and turn on notifications by hitting that bell and roughly 95% of viewers who watch this week in video games aren't subscribed. So subscribe today and never miss an update. Okay, let's jump right in with the most important information and how to get the Verglass Curve. So this one is a Season Pass reward in Season of Defiance, and it's the first season in Year 6 of Destiny 2. Well, that means if you own Season of Defiance, you can pick this bow up immediately from Rank 1 on the paid track of the Season Pass. But if you're a free-to-play player, not to worry, you can get this at Rank 35 on the same Season Pass, and then, if you are watching this in the future, you're going to be able to pick up this bow from the Monument to Lost Lights in the Tower. That is next to your vault. What you want to do there is check out the Lightfall Exotics. That's where you can pick up the past season exotics that you missed. So it's nice and easy to get this one. You can get it from the Season Pass, and then it's on to the fun part, and that is actually using the weapon. Okay, next up, let's have a closer look at the weapon itself. So the Verglass Curve is an exotic kinetic combat bow and this one is our first exotic stasis bow making it very very interesting plus it's in that kinetic slot which is different from La Monarch, Trinity Ghoul etc etc so let's have a look at the perks we've got Hail Barrage so final blows of the weapon grant stasis arrows and your next hip fire shot will fire them all in a single volley it also got Hail Storm so stasis arrows freeze the targets on contact and create stasis crystals when affecting the environment so, looking at these stats, we've got 68 for impact, 38 for accuracy, 58 for stability, 67 for handling, 60 for reload speed. It's got 83 for aim assist, 20 for airborne effectiveness, and a draw time of 580. Well, it's a really fun bow, this one. Really, really like it so far. But next up, let's have a look at the catalyst. So, first of all, how to get the Verglass Curve catalyst in Destiny 2. So... What you want to do first is go to speak to Banshee44 once you've got the exotic bow in your possession. Go and speak to Banshee and you're able to pick up the quest for the catalyst. So step one on that quest, you want to kill enemies. So for this step, you need to rapidly defeat 20 enemies and then kill 40 enemies with Stasis Final Blows. Next up, step two, you want to calibrate the data. So next up, you need to kill 450 enemies and gather 200 calibration data from completing operations. So Level up your season pass for faster progression. And you can also keep an eye on the bus there to make this quicker. We can calibrate by completing Vanguard Ops, Gambit, Crucible matches, or seasonal players' activities. And higher tier Nightfalls and Crucible or Gambit wins will award you faster progress. And that is it. So step three, speak to Banshee44. And it's really that easy. Just go and speak to Banshee and you can pick up your catalyst. Well, that is not the end of the grind, though. Next up, you need to level up that Verglass Curve Catalyst. So before you can equip that Catalyst, you do need to level it up, and you will need to get 700 kills with a weapon. I'd say the most efficient way to get this done is the Shirochi Checkpoint in the Last Wish Raid. This is because tens of enemies spawn all at the same time. You can take them out nice and easy, and many are going to die with the same time due to those stasis effects. So it is best to stock up on Raid Banners, and you can get these from Hawthorne in the Tower. What you want to do to get to Shurochi, you want to input this wish to get to that location. And what I'll do at the end of the video guide, I'll put a little route to the location there so it's nice and easy to follow. Well, Altars of Sorrow is another good location and you can find this one on the moon. And also the start of the Grasp of Avarice dungeon is another good place to level up catalysts. Plus you've got plenty of lost sectors all over the planets and the moons. My favourites are really going on Sabathun's throne world. I really like those lost sectors there. Blind Well is also another good alternative, and that can be found in the Dreaming City. But ideally, you want to be running activities solo so you can maximise the amount of enemies that you're killing. Now, given you've got to kill 700, you don't really want to be sharing kills in Vagod Ops or other activities, as that is going to slow down your progress. So if you want to get this done fast, get in there with solo activities and get those 700 kills. Finally then, let's have a look at what the Verglass Curve Catalyst does. So, 
This one gives you faster draw speed time for a short duration when you freeze a target. And you're going to be freezing a target a hell of a lot. It's going to work really, really well with stasis builds, given the bow already creates stasis arrows and freezes targets on contact and creates those stasis crystals. And the benefits here, you can get off more arrows faster. It's freezing and shattering even more enemies than before. Well, let me know in the comments what you think of the Verglass Curve Bow and also that Catalyst. would really love to hear what you think. I think this has the potential to be one of the best weapons in the game. I already love my Void, Arc and Solar Exotic Bows. And to have a Stasis one to add to the collection, well, that is just the icing on the cake. Well, that is it for this guide for how to get the Verglass Curve Exotic Stasis Bow. And as always, thank you so much for watching or listening. For more Destiny 2 content like this, hit that subscribe button down below and subscribe to This Week in Video Games. Or you can check me out on Twitter at TWIVG Podcast. If you enjoyed this video, found it useful, lucky and sharing the video would really help me out. Otherwise, check out the other videos on the channel. Thanks again, and I'll see you soon.